today we're going to be talking about ColourPop relaunched their Ultra Lips, their Glossy, Matte, and Blotted Lips. And these are very nostalgic for me. There's a few shades like Beeper that just like rang a 2016 bell. I just remember at one point everyone was using Beeper and I thought it would be fun. ColourPop sent these over and I thought why not try them on. You guys can grab a snack if you want. We can hang out and chat about these shades. I'm going to do lip swatches of all the shades that I have. I have four glossy, four blotted, and five of the matte lips. Just to explain this random backdrop, I'm probably going to be in random places for the next month. Um, I'm moving. Feel free to give me your feedback if you prefer a more homey background, maybe just a more professional background. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, let's go ahead. Try to zoom in here. I think this is good. It's of course. I don't know how this is possible. I should probably stop moving this while I'm talking. Um, I don't know how it's possible, but it is raining outside again. Every time I try to film, there's something that's going on that is very annoying. So anyway, we're going to persevere and post at least most Mondays. That's my commitment for right now. I want to up it when I move, but I'm starting with that for now. Anyway, let's start with the glossy lips and see how they look. So when it comes to glossy lips, I really did not used to like them, but I was on Accutane for the past freaking year and it made me appreciate gloss because I had to wear Aquaphor like every single day. So I uh, had to get used to seeing myself with glossy lips. I kind of like them now. I'm not gonna lie, it's wild to me that I do. Cat has climbed to the top of the cabinet and is meowing. Please, can I just film? This is gonna be a perfect go-to for almost anyone. I really, really love this shade. I can't talk today, I keep messing up. Um, <laughs> this, li this glossy lip feels very non-sticky. It reminds me a lot of NYX Butter Glosses, if you have one of those. Um, that's also kind of a throwback product that's still around, but beautiful amount of shine. It's not like ridiculously shiny. It's a very wearable, glossy, um, formula. I really liked that more than I was expecting, so that's really, really good. Um, I really, as long as lip glosses aren't sticky, I can do them. If they're sticky, I can't, and this was very not sticky. This is the shade Lynx Creme. Um, this one looks like it's going to be a little bit more of like a brownie nude, um, also a kind of nude that I really like. On me, this is just giving the slightest bit of kind of brown color to my natural lip color. It's very subtle. I adore this one too. I think this one would go with almost any makeup look because it's so just kind of neutrally nude, a little bit brown, but just really more my natural lip color than anything is showing through. I also think that one went really nice with my makeup look today. I did kind of like a 60s-ish inspired look and I found these little false lashes that I love and um, I don't know. I had fun experimenting with stuff today. Let's do coffee break. We're moving into kind of like a deeper gloss now. I should open these all ahead of time. Um, this looks like a deeper kind of brownie nude red. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep, yeah, this is definitely more pigmented. It's more... I'd say this is kind of like a brick, a sheer brick color. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. The thing I'm liking about it, I think a lot of people like super pigmented lip glosses. I don't. I feel like the more pigmented a lip gloss is, the more likely I'm just going to get it smeared on my face at some point when I'm eating or whatever. So I feel like this is a really nice in-between where we're still definitely getting color, as you can see, but it's not so pigmented that you can't see your lip color through a little bit, if that makes sense. And I really like that. It just makes every shade like a little bit more natural and a little bit more kind of like custom to your own appearance. I probably personally would prefer the first two over that one, but it was really pretty. This one is Hit Snooze. It looks like it's got a little bit more of like a purpley, cool toned look to it, just subtly. Mm, this is really, again, similar to my lip color but slightly more cool toned, if that makes sense. I love this one as well. So I liked actually all three of these. I thought I wasn't going to like um, the all me one, but that was really pretty too. I love these three. That kind of brick color that was called Coffee Break is not super my thing, but it was really pretty. Next, we're gonna move on to the matte lips, and I'm very intrigued because I got an email from ColourPop saying, this is not your 2016 lip or whatever year they said. Um, 
and that it's supposed to be a really good formula. I assume by that email they meant that it's a new formula, it's not the same one from back then, which is very interesting to me. I'm not sure if you guys tried their lipsticks back then, but in general, it was just a huge trend that everyone was super into liquid lipsticks. They were just kind of a new thing. They just were very dry, and I think we have advanced since then in our makeup technology. So I hope that these are better. And this was the iconic shade. I just accidentally grabbed with perfect timing. This is called Beeper, and this was so iconic. We were very into these, um, let me dry my lips off. We were very into these um, like gray toned nudes. Um, there was a lot of really famous ones. There was ones from Lime Crime, Kat Von D. Yup, this is bringing me back. I'm not gonna use lip liners for these just so we can really see what they look like. So if they look a little messy, I'm a perfectionist, it's honestly so annoying. The thing about being a perfectionist is I annoy myself probably more than anyone else. It's like, can I not? Can I just relax, please? Probably gonna be mad at myself when I look back at this footage because I know I could fix my top lip, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna challenge my perfectionism. This is kind of scaring me because it is bringing me back to a really horrible time period. Uh, I still, there's like a part of my heart and soul that really adores this lip color. It is feeling so lightweight and I do not recall matte liquid lipsticks being like that back then. This feels so much thinner. It's super thin, super lightweight. It's it's like dried, but it's not um, completely dry where it's like sucking all the moisture out of your lip. My lips don't look horrible. My first impression is very positive and I was a little nervous. I feel like matte liquid lipsticks you know, can go one way or the other, but I'm really liking this so far. If you're into this kind of shade, it's very beautiful. I can't really see myself wearing this shade anytime soon. I think I'm still a little too, uh, I don't know. It just like takes me back to that time period too much. Next up, I'm gonna do another nude and then I have some fun colors is Tulum. This looks like it's gonna be, ah, uh, like a little bit more of a neutrally pink, not quite red. Yep, this is like the equivalent of that brick glossy lip. This is kind of your brick matte lip. Okay, again, not the best application, but um, here it is. This is really not a color that I would reach for. I actually probably would wear this shade if I did it kind of blotted, where I kind of just leave the center more pigmented and then smudge out the edges. I almost never these days wear a matte liquid lipstick like this. Let's get Risk Taker out of the way. This is a red. One thing I'm noticing is I don't, this applicator, if you're not using um, a lip liner, this applicator is not great. It feels a little cheap and it's just like not super chiseled at the end. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm having a little bit of a hard time doing these lipsticks. It's not a subtle red. This is your kind of like poppy, bright candy apple. This is very like candy apple red. Very not my thing, but it's a nice shade. This reminds me so much of a shade I used to wear at MAC all of the time. I'll put the shade on the screen because I can't remember the name, but I'm really excited about this shade. This is Flurries and this looks like more of a purple shade, a purpley pink. Um, and I feel like this maybe could be a fun update to Bieber. Yeah, I'm really not loving this applicator, to be honest. Here is Flurries. I actually think this is really cute. Um, this is, it's giving Barney. Let's put on Panther. Look at how cool that is. I, oh, is it blue? I think it might be dark blue. Yeah, this is a super dark navy blue. I gotta focus to apply this one second. I am adoring this shade. Let me fix it up a little bit. Um, but it did apply much more patchy than the other ones. And that could just be because it's a dark shade and um, so you're seeing, you know, your lips show through a little bit more, but it just, I don't know, it kind of, was patchy as it built up and um, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because all we really need to see is the lip swatch, right? We don't need to get this perfect. Um, I love this shade. It's just um, not the best formula in the world, but it's workable. It's not like absolutely terrible. So excited to move on to the blotted lips. That's really my wheelhouse. And when I reach for lip products, nine times out of 10, I'm doing some kind of blotted lip. And you know, you don't necessarily need a product that's like made to do a blotted lip. You can use matte liquid lipsticks and do the same thing. You can use glossy lips and do the same thing. But I do love products that are specifically made for that. I almost thought my camera wasn't recording this whole time. It's gonna lose my mind. I feel like my lips still look 
very slightly blue, but that's okay. Um, let's start with my least favorite shade of blotted lip. This is Attention Please. This is a kind of Barbie bright pink. I'm gonna apply this how I would like to apply it and hopefully I'll like it better. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center and then push together and then I just kind of blend the edges. You get that more kind of like popsicle looking lip. Actually, how cute is this in blotted form? And it applies really, really nicely. It's reminding me a lot of Glossier G Suites formula. Um, it might be even a little thinner than Glossier G Suites formula. Um, that layered really beautifully. I feel like I almost instantly got a really nice kind of popsicle lip where the center is darker. Um, I actually like this shade in blotted form. It's really pretty when you don't apply it across your whole lip. Um, it just gives this really nice, uh, beautiful effect. I really like it actually. Formula is feeling very lightweight, almost kind of seamless. Like I didn't apply that much, but I almost can't even feel it on my lips. It's really nice. I also feel like it gave that kind of blurred lip edge effect really easy. It is a lighter nude called Zuma. This is a little bit of a warmer nude. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna do the same kind of application as the last lipstick. Oh, this is much more orangey terracotta than I expected. My natural lip color is getting very um, irritated. So hopefully you can still see what this color is looking like. I'm just gonna apply a little extra. The upper lip is a little bit stained, so if you can ignore that, I ended up just applying this kind of all over my lip and blurring the edges. So you can hopefully see the shade. It is like a warmer toned nude that has a little bit of terracotta to it, a little bit of orangey terracotta, but it is super pretty, super, super pretty. The amount of orange in it is super, super subtle, so it really just comes off like a really nice, neutrally warm, nude um this is the kind of lip that i would wear all the time i really like it it's called still an icon this looks um kind of similar to beeper it's got like a little bit of gray to it by looking at the two nope on the lips it's looking more neutral it's not looking super gray okay this is a great universal blotted lip shade the last one was as well but this one even more so is just super kind of go with everything this is definitely if you're trying to debate you just want one that's going to go with every look I highly recommend still an icon. I saved this one for last. It's called Canon Drive um, because it's really a unique color for a blotted lip. Super intrigued because I think a dark purple blotted lip is such a pretty idea and I really hope it works out because I would love to have one in my collection. Good thing this is the last one because my lips are uh, getting stressed out at this point. Let's see what happens here. Oh, this is coming off more brown. Oh, this is kind of giving Clinique Black Honey vibe. Again, I'm noticing this deeper shade is just slightly more finicky. It's not a horrible formula or anything. It's just slightly more kind of like wanting to be patchy and I have to blend a little bit more kind of thing. This has got to be one of my favorites. This is really reminding me of Clinique Black Honey But Matte. It's in my favorite blotted formula. I really love this one. This might be one of my favorites. It's a little, now that I'm looking at it, it's a little bit more red than Clinique Black Honey, I think. Overall, glossy lips, 10 out of 10. Obviously, I haven't done a wear test on any of these, so just based on first impression. Very non-sticky, gorgeous formula. If you like a semi-sheer formula, I thought the colors were just beautiful and um, just an awesome glossy lip. When it comes to the ultra matte lips, I did really like them. They felt really lightweight, um, very just comfortable on the lips. I do think the deeper shades are a little bit patchy, a little bit trickier to work with, nothing that's not manageable or like should totally prevent you from buying. But just to warn you, like this shade, just a little bit tricky. My absolute favorite are the blotted lips. Um, I just love this kind of formula and I think that this was really, really well done. Super lightweight, 
they blur really easily, they blend really easily. It's sort of like an even more lightweight matte lip and there's just the right amount of pigmentation. Um, again, my only complaint is that the deeper shade, again, just slightly more on the patchy side, nothing extreme. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to and like the video if you enjoyed it. I will be back next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!